Don curses the carnal Israel, worldly churches and godless nations. Many Christians lead by their churches are supporting the re-establishment of Israel and blind loyalty to secular government. These churches teach Christians that they should be joined to, reliant on, and subjects of the secular society flash cultures that they live in. Let me show you how unscriptural and how damnable that island Jesus commanded us to know the parable of the fig tree. In fact Jesus had a lot to say about vines and fig trees. In John 15, Jesus said that it was mandatory to live in him the true vine and bring forth good fruit. Anyone that doesn't do so would be cut off from the vine and be destroyed to live in Jesus is to be in the Spirit of God, and to have the Spirit of God in us. The good fruits of the Spirit of God are, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such there is no law. Jesus curses Israel of the first covenant, for rejecting him. Forever, as Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came upon the fig tree. Jesus went to each of the figs of the tree. But even though it had leaves, it had no figs. For it was out of season. Jesus cursed the tree, saying, Let it not bear any fruit forever. This fig tree represented Israel, as we'll see. Jesus went on to enter Jerusalem where the scribes and Pharisees rejected him as the Messiah. Because of that rejection, Jesus told them, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. Jesus and his disciples then retreated from Jerusalem, passing the same fig tree. The disciples noticed that it had already withered away. What did Jesus say in John 15.6? If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Remaining in Jesus just means remaining in his salvation, knowing that we are made clean by his blood, so we can receive the Spirit of God, which is the Spirit of love and true life. But those who pull back from Jesus and again serve the godless world and its attempts to build their own godless utopia on earth. They are cursed and doomed to destruction. In Luke 13 Jesus <coughs> talked about people who had perished both as the hands of evildoers and in natural disasters. Jesus said of these people, Do you, you think they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you too will all perish. Then Jesus goes into the parable of the fig tree, which tells us how to avoid perishing. V6 then he told this parable, A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, For three years now I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? In the Old Testament the fig tree is the third tree to be mentioned by name. First was the tree of life, second the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and last the fig, the leaves of which Adam and Eve tried to use to cover their perceived sin. This attempt by them represented the false religion of man's own works to restore himself back to relationship with God. But it wasn't good enough. Which their hiding from God showed. God had to kill the lamb and make them skirts from its coat. A symbol of Jesus' death and resurrection, and us putting on the righteousness of Christ. The promise of our future perfection, which we have now by faith in his name, Finally Jesus spoke of another parable of the fig tree in Matthew 24, where he answers the disciples about the end of the world. Now learn the parable of the fig tree and all the trees. When its branches are tendered and putteth forth leaves, know that summer is near. 
Likewise, when you see all these things, know that it is at the very doors. This generation shall not pass away until all shall be fulfilled. Again, the fig tree is both the symbol for the first Israel, under the first covenant, and symbolic of the second Israel, the church, under the second covenant. All the trees means all the nations, as trees were symbols of nations throughout scriptures. In the present we see all the nations being given their independence. But which of them are bearing good fruit? Without God's Spirit, which is only available through recognition of the shed blood of Jesus Christ and putting on of the righteousness of Christ, to walk as he walked, so that they cannot bring forth fruit for the kingdom of God. No matter how hard they try, they will only bring forth thorn and thistle, as we see every day in the news. Wars starvation, slavery, greed, selfishness, lust and every immorality imaginable. They cannot bring forth the good fruits of the Spirit of God. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Because they have no faith in Christ, and refuse to walk as Christ walked, with their treasures in eternity. Most of them don't even believe in any life beyond this life. 